better be ready now. We are here to explain how to palpate a blood pressure. First, we must introduce a blood pressure cuff. There are different parts of the blood pressure cuff. First, there is the bladder of the cuff. This is what inflates when pumping the cuff up. On the cuff, there will be lines to indicate where the cuff should be placed on the arm to line up with the brachial artery. Next is the bulb. This is what you use to inflate the blood pressure cuff. Next is the valve. This is what is used to hold the air in and also to release it. Next is the gauge. When palpating a blood pressure, you must put the blood pressure cuff on the patient. When applying the cuff, make sure it fits snug so that it's not able to be pulled down or where it falls down the arm. Make sure with the patient with a long sleeve shirt on that you do not push the shirt up to where it is bunched. If the shirt is thin enough, you can do it over the shirt. If they have a sweatshirt on, try to expose the arm the best you can. You would then locate the radial pulse, which is located on the lateral side of the wrist below the thumb. Next, you will pump the cuff to approximately 180. You will then release the valve slowly to deflate the blood pressure cuff, and you will feel for a pulse to start again. On the gauge, you will watch for what number the gauge is on when you first feel the pulse. When you feel the pulse, that will be your systolic part of the blood pressure, which is the pressure created when the heart contracts and forces blood out and into the arteries. The normal systolic blood pressure for an adult is 120. The normal range for the systolic for a child is their age times 2 plus 80 millimeters of mercury. When palpating, you do not need a diastolic number. When documenting a palpated blood pressure that you write is 120 over P. Make sure once you get your systolic number that you continue to deflate the blood pressure cuff. You now know how to palpate a blood pressure.